This is what I was playing around with. This is the finished uh, render uh, loaded up in Keyshot, and it's just really down and dirty. Um, I didn't even know what I was going to do with this. I was just playing around with a quick idea, and I'll show you how I came about this. So let's go ahead and pause this for now. And I was just seeing someone else's post that they were fooling around with Sculptress. So I just downloaded Sculptress again because I hadn't used it for a while, and I just was like goofing around, just pushing and pulling a couple forms. Didn't really come with anything. I was just trying to test out and check out the resolution here. Um, kind of trying to see how, how the uh, adaptive triangulation was working. I was just like goofing around. And I was like, okay, whatever, let's see what happens if the GoZ works. So I goz it over. Let's go ahead and quit this. I don't need to save that. Um, so I goz it over very quickly. And fortunately, I saved my document before I did this here. So anyhow, this is what it came in as. And as I go forward, and the timeline I'm going to show you guys, I just started, I was just goofing around, just pushing and pulling points, had no idea what I was going to do. I was just kind of, you know, it was about 15 minutes just fooling around here. Um, I was going to make some alien at one point. I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'm just like, you know, freeform sculpting here, just goofing around. Just starting to lay down some clay. Really just like... No, just no preconceived notion of what I was going to do. Just like sort of like, you know, add in some happy accents and see what I get. Do some clay polish, fooling around here. Actually, I'm, I'm trying to maybe come up with some ideas for how to do some really quick stuff because um, I need to perfect some of my working really fast techniques for the sculpt off at the end of uh, the month um, at the Zebra Summit. So I'm just kind of coming up with some ideas here. I was thinking about doing something where I can maybe like a uh, generate some masks based on um, ambient occlusion or curves and then play around with like pulling out some sh shapes. So I was playing around with some of this stuff, uh, seeing what I can get. Then I was like, let's go back and, and uh, remesh this. So um, so here I went over here and uh, remesh this. And one of the things I was doing was, uh, I'll show you this in a later, a later section. I just want to screw up this whole uh, version right here. But what I was doing is I was using the Z remesher guides to just uh, define some regions. So I went back and I got this after doing the uh, zebra measure based on the guides and then uh, keeping polygroups on so I can get some cool uh, edges here. Started uh, just goofing around with this, isolating some areas, doing a little bit of cleanup, um, trying some ideas out here using the Z modeler. Um, then I started isolating out my, um, my some loops knowing that I'm gonna go into the edge loops. So here I am just kinda of like, again, just, this has no rhyme or reason. I'm just like, let's see what happens if I do a couple of these things here. Go through, and then I run uh, edge loops on it. And then I get something like this. Then I start pushing and pulling a little bit, and just kinda of seeing what I got. Um, and then from there, so that model right there is shot over to Keyshot. Now the thing is, you'll notice that I hadn't, um, what I did was after I did the edge loops, you'll get you'll get a, a border and the front and backs for all these guys. So then what I'd like to do is go in to auto groups and say auto group and then it'll, it'll put everything in its own group. And in the past what I've done is I've then gone through and isolate these out by saying under subtool, you can go in here and say um, split to group and it'll split all these groups into their separate subtools. But I want to try something different. So I send this over to Keyshot and in version six they have a new feature where you can edit your geometry. And this is where it worked pretty awesomely. So inside here I uh, selected the, the uppermost piece of geometry and uh, let's see where was that at? There was a, a, a drop down. Where was it at? There was an edit geometry tab. I can't remember where that was at. Um, I think it was like I think it was a drop down here, so I said edit geometry, and then um, it asked me a couple options, and I chose to split out the separate geometry in here. And I just tried this for the first time to see what this was working in the beta, and it worked. So the cool thing was like I was able to like, split out all my pieces, and if I undo the, um, I mean if I just unpause here, you'll see that as I'm clicking down here, you can see that they're all highlighting. So it actually worked similar to how you would go in, into ZBrush and, and say separate, uh, group rate. Group split by polygroups. Um, so that's that worked great. And then I just went in here and just drag and dropped. So I was just playing around with some colors. And again, this is like, I had no 
preconceived notion of what this was going to be. I just was like starting to push and pull points. Um, this could be the base of something. I could start putting some tubing in and putting, start using some IMM brushes on other areas. But this was just a quick down and dirty. Let's see how fast I can get something out from ZBrush into Keyshot. And you can see here, just drag and drop materials, probably a different testing. Um, yeah, so just a really quick down and dirty playing around here. So I just want to show that really quick. Um, I'm going to try to post this also to YouTube and try to keep it pretty short so you guys can watch this like as a bite-sized chunk. All right, thanks for viewing.